friends uh, i hope you are enjoying this series on my sequel and uh, you are increasing your knowledge and practicing a lot um, so in this video we will be covering all the aggregate functions which are present in my sequel so aggregate functions are very much important when it comes to my sequel because it helps us to perform a lot of uh, different uh, functions requirements which are which are require uh, which are needed in many uh, use cases so let us see some of the aggregate functions which we have in mysql so the very first i have here is the count function uh, just uh, in the in the the last video we have seen an example on using the count function but uh, i'll just show you once again here so select star from students for we just want to count the number of students we have in our class so i'll do select sorry select count star from students for what do you guys think what should come up so it shows me six the six is nothing but the number of rows it has counted which is present in our student four table let us uh, do some work around here i want to count the number of distinct uh, students with the first name uh, i mean uh, all the only distinct first names in our in my class so i'll just do select count and in the last video we have seen on the distinct So it shows me four and i think it is correct because we have four different people with unique names so we have two roms that makes as one two lakshman that also makes as one and bharat and shatrugan so to, that adds up to four so this is how we'll be using distinct in uh, addition with the count function um, so and also one more thing is uh, we use the group by function with the count function a lot uh, in a lot of cases this helps to aggregate all the uh, common rows will be coming to that next one is the group by functions which i was referring to so um, let us just look into that so consider a case where people with the similar first name i want to add their marks so rams singh and ram raj will i mean the marks should be added up lakshman sharma and lakshman yadav their marks should also be added up and um, shatrugan and uh, bharat have as they have just the uh, i mean they have, they're just the single students with no duplicate name so the marks would just come up so some of all the similar name students first name students so i'll do the sum on the marks this spelling mistake here and i'll use group by because i'll be grouping by on the first name so uh, things think it's something like all the first name uh, all the similar first name students would be now uh, acted as in a group so now they're not individual rows but they have been grouped by and then we'll be doing the sum function on the uh, on the on that uh, particular group all those groups so we'll be using the group by on the first name 
and you can see uh, the results have come up the ram uh, it is adding up to 550 we'll just verify it from our data of is this correct or not so ram is 550 200 plus 350 that comes out to be 550 lakshman is 430 300 plus 130 that sums up to 430 and that is also correct and the individual rows have come up so this is how uh, is it is just a use case in which we have used the group by function in in addition to the aggregate function as sum now let's say average of the marks with student with just the similar name so instead of the sum function i'll be using the average and you can see the average has come up so uh, let me just open the calculator and show you guys if the value is correct or not so 200 plus uh, 350 it comes up to be 550 and uh, 550 uh, divided by 2 is coming out to be 275 and ram is 275 that is absolutely correct and for lakshman it was 430 430 divided by 2 comes out to be 215 and that is also correct so this is how we'll be using the group by function in addition with all the uh, arithmetic fun, um, formulas we have such as the name uh, I mean the sum the average the count function so let's say uh, I'll just take another case where I'll just add I'll just uh, I just want to get all the students which have the similar name and number of students which we have so uh, I mean Ram and number of students which unique student who have the Ram as their first name so in that case I'll do a count on the first name form students and we'll group by first name and you can see we, we, we were having two students with name as the first name as Ram we were having two students with first name as Lakshman and one one student with uh, with the first name as Bharat and Shatrugan and uh, this is absolutely correct as we can see from our database also the other aggregate functions which we have is min and max so let's say we have uh, two students with the same name as Ram but I want to get the name of the student who has or the last name of the student uh, who who has the highest marks in that particular group so uh, I'll just explain you guys what I meant to say so this is our database and uh, this is our database and let's say I want to and get uh, between Ram Singh and Ram Raj we have uh, their marks are 200 and 350 and I want to get the last second name of the student who has the highest marks between Ram Singh and uh, Ram Raj so you see that select second name So I'll just do this. So uh, here, here you could see uh, I'm getting all the. So first I'm grouping by all the similar first names, and then I'm I'm getting the marks as well as the last name who, uh, bit I mean who of the student who have the similar first name, and I'm, I'm I just want the marks and the last name. So here you could see the minimum marks is 400. So Ram Lal must be having the minimum marks. Here only I'll do a select star. So 
so you can see uh, between Ram Singh and Ram I'll just add the first name also for better uh, understanding because it is getting a bit of confusion so you can see Bharat uh, there was just one student named as Bharat and uh, the second name was Lal so his marks has come up as 400 now there was two Lakshman in our class Lakshman Sharma and Lakshman Yadav so and the minimum marks is 130 between them so the name has come up Lakshman Sharma similarly for Ram Singh uh, was the was the Ram Singh was the student who had scored the least marks among all the students having the first name as Ram so uh, the name has come up and similarly it has this to just one Shatrugan uh, stu uh, named as student so uh, this serves our purpose uh, which we wanted so this is just an example we'll be encountering many cases around group by clause also one more thing uh, where uh, which i would like to uh, um, present here because this question is asked a lot of many times in the interviews is uh, we can't use the where by clause in uh, with the group group clause and so we have the alternate uh, alternate function such as having and we use that to filter out again from the groups which we have created so so i would request you to go through the having by clause in one of the blogs on, um, online and uh, read a read few about that we'll be coming uh, with few examples on having by clause also in our next lessons so that would uh, um, throw a lot of light on that also uh, till for now it's uh, these are some of the important functions which we en encounter a lot of times in uh, MySQL so um, that's it in this video I hope you enjoyed this video and meet you in next lesson thank you